guys, what's up? It's me, Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with today's video, remember to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So today's video is going to be my Battle of the Boy Bands readathon reading vlog. A lot of words there. And so if you don't know, I am participating in Battle of the Boy Bands. And so I'm on Team NSYNC. And I'm going to start this reading vlog with a book I have for the challenge or prompt low rating. And this is The Cold is in Her Bones by Peter Nell Van Arsdale. I have very low expectations for this. I don't expect it to be that great. But I'm going to give it a try and I will update you guys later. Okay, so I am on page 58 of The Cold is in Her Bones. And it's okay. I hope it gets a lot better. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not great. And I didn't have very high expectations to begin with. So, so far it is meeting my expectations and passing surpassing them maybe a little bit. It's not terrible, but it isn't that good either. Hopefully it gets better. I think I also want to start another book. And I think so. Here is the rest of my Battle of the Boy Bands TBR that I already have decided along with This Lovely City by Louise Hare, which is the group book, uh, which I have on ebook from my library. And I don't think I want to read that one yet. I'm honestly not that excited for it. Um, I think I'm going to read uh, The Spy Switch by Karen Whitten. This is a Harlequin romantic suspense. This was for a uh, uh, trope I want to read more from. And I want to read more romantic suspense, so I will pick this one. So I just finished The Cold is in Her Bones. I gave it three stars. It was okay. Definitely not that great, but I read it, and so it counts for this readathon. I just submitted it to the book submission form, and so yeah, I am now currently reading The Spy Switch. I am on page 22 of this. And so far, I'm really liking it, so I will update you guys later. So I'm on page 60 of The Spy Switch, and so far, I'm liking it. Not loving it, but at least I'm liking it. And I got some reading to do. I'm not very far in, but it is only the fourth today, and we have the whole month for the readathon. So that is good, and I will continue reading. So I'm on page 171 of The Spy Switch, and so far I'm really enjoying it. I'm actually really liking it. Not sure if it's going to be like a 4 or 4.5 yet. I feel like that's where I'm at at the moment, but I am really liking it, and I do recommend. And I think I might be able to finish it today. If not, I will probably finish it tomorrow. And so I will update you guys when I have more to update. So I just finished The Spy Switch by Karen Whitten. I loved it. I gave it 4.5 stars and this is a fake dating romantic suspense romance and I obviously really enjoyed it. So this was for the prompt, um, what, uh, what was this prompt, uh, trope you want to read more from and I want you to read more romantic suspense. And so that is some more points for Team Sync. So I started This Lovely City by Louise Hare which is the group book for Team NSYNC, and I'm 8% of the way through, and I'm really not liking it. I know that it's good for a lot of points, and I should probably read it, but I'm really not liking it, so I'm not sure. Right now, I'm just going to start a different book, and I will see later if I feel like picking it back up. So today is February 25th, and I have picked back up This Lovely City by Louise Hare, and so I'm going to try and finish it by the end of the month. I'm just still not liking it, but I'm going to push through. And hopefully I can get the points for Team Sync. Okay, so I finished This Lovely City by Louise Hare. And I found that book so, 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 so boring. I did not recommend. I gave it two stars. It wasn't terrible, but it was not good. Uh, so two stars. And that is going to end this video. So... I know I only read three books for the Battle of the Boy Bands readathon, but I think that that is better than nothing. So that is, considering I didn't have a great reading month, um, I think this was pretty productive and good. Um, so if you made it this far, please leave me a musical emoji uh, for the Battle of the Boy Bands. 
And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Before you go, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and I'll see you all next time.